Hey guys, Midnight here, and I got another crafting video for you guys. So I'm gonna show you guys how I made these lunar bookmarks. So stay tuned. I'm gonna show you how to make them. You're going to need paper, paint, tape, scissors, brush, water, and maybe a couple of pens. We're going to start off by taping off the paper. You're going to place the tape on the edges and you're going to place it down very gently. Make sure that you press along the sides of the tape to make sure it has a good seal. Then you're going to use water and cover it with just water. And once you have the area full, you're going to choose your paint color of watercolors and you're going to dab it on. You can mush it around a little bit, but you really just need to dab. As long as there's water underneath, the paint will spread. And once you work on each panel, you move on to the next and repeat the same process over and over. You see in this side section over here, I added yellow and I'm gonna do that to each of the different panels. You'll see why when we get to that point. Moving on to the third panel, I'm adding more colors. After it's all dry, I'm gonna add my dark colors Cover this space with water and then add a darker color on top. I'm using purple and indigo and dark blue. Now that they're all dry, I'm gonna make sure they're dry. Now we're gonna get the tape and the pen. You're gonna place the tape where you would like your moon to be and trace the outline. Do it lightly so it doesn't show so intensely in the final product. And do this for each panel but do them in different angles and different sizes. You want to have enough variated interest in your pieces. Now we're going to get white watercolor and we're going to leave it very milky. And you're going to fill in the areas and just push the paint around. You don't have to really work the paint to make the moon look like a moon. The watercolor is going to do that on its own. After that, you get some white paint on the brush and you add sparkles. And that creates the stars. Then you're going to get black paint and go across the yellow area and go up to the transition of yellow into the other colors but don't fully cover the transition. This will give the effect that the sun is setting behind. At this point you can add whatever you want to your backgrounds to give it more interest. I added some trees, a little house, and an animal. I added some plants as well. Once you're done, you wait for it to dry. Now that it's all dry, you peel the tape off very slowly. To save for time, I've sped the footage up. Just know that in real time, I am pulling extremely slowly. As you notice, there's a couple bits of paint that bled under the tape. Don't worry about that, we're gonna take care of that right now. 
You use the scissors and you cut them out, leaving a very slim border all the way around the sides. And with a little bit of editing magic, we're going to finish cutting the rest of these. Whoa! Don't you just love that? So now that we have them cut out, you're gonna get a pen and you're going to sign your name on the border. If you have a gel pen, you could sign it in the dark area in the bottom corner. I'm putting an M and an N for midnight. All right, guys, this is our completed piece. Thank you very much for watching the video and keep crafting.